dwellers and welcome back to the next episode of our fallout 76 wastelander wednesday's let's play series you join me once again with slackery who has graciously decided to continue playing with me today hey guys we got a quest at the end of the last episode to go over and talk with the doctor for the settlers and we went ahead and walked fairly close to the location and while we were on our way here, we actually came across a, one of the new beverages that's been added into the game with Wastelanders, and that is a Nuka-Cola Cranberry. And what did you ask me about it? Oh, I'm surprised they didn't have it before, being in West Virginia. Right. Well, I think that the reason it's been added in is definitely because of the Cranberry Box. So it would definitely be a regional drink. Why they didn't have it before Wastelanders? It could just be because there were no other people here. And maybe one of the new settler groups has been the one responsible for it. I'm not sure. But it is a cool little addition into the game. So we need to go ahead and head over in this direction. And there's a flag over here. So I am going to assume... This is where we don't need to be. Maybe it is where we need to be, but they are dead. Oh, wait. I'm still being shot. Yep, over here. Thank you. And I leveled up. Holy bobs, it's been forever since I've leveled up. <laughs> What are these guys up to? I don't know, but it doesn't look good. Whatever it is, scorch the dude. Okay, well, let's search the body for clues. You carefully check the pockets and lining of the clothes. A small glint catches your eye, and you find a handful of caps on the body. Well, I didn't want to take them, but apparently I automatically did. Okay, so I can't search her again. Ooh, a sweet roll. Take that. Now here we go. We have another dead body. The man and the Scorch were clearly fighting before they both died. Examine the scene. The scramble footprints suggest that the settlers were surprised. They didn't even have time to put up defense put up defensive positions or run away. Okay. I don't know why I picked those up. Yeah, definitely they got surprised by the Scorch. So this dead body, this person died of fatal wounds. Let's examine them. Although the wounds were fatal, this person was receiving medical attention. Perhaps not everyone was killed. You count the beds and realize there are five beds, but only four human bodies. Oh, okay, here we go. Our fourth body is over here. A victim of the scorched attack. See, with our perception of plus eight, we can search under the body. Someone was trying to give this person medical attention before a scorched attack. You're able to recover some stem packs that were left behind for the victim. You notice a trail of footprints heading northeast. Perhaps Aubrey is still alive. Okay, and we are being attacked by something. What was that? Scorched. Another scorched popped up. So, yes, they did. Oh, that wasn't very kind of them. So, well, now we need to search for Aubrey. So, let's check our quest log and we need to head back up. Okay, anything? Are they still sneaking in? Yeah. Oh, which reminds me, I just found more. Um, uh, arrows so actually not oh, wrong button I believe actually I don't know why I didn't think to look at this so when we finished up the wayward quest line 
we actually got the plan for a bow and I see another one coming in so maybe we should just go ahead and leave this location so I went ahead and read that we will try and craft that up eventually but let me see I need to head that's you we need to head up this way let me put a marker on the map so I know where I'm going that general location so definitely uh, make sure when you finish up a quest line that you check to make sure you haven't received any extra plans I hear something yeah, I think you would definitely be surprised at um, all these scorched if you were doing this by yourself So I'm very thankful that you had time to join me once again. Oh, are they? Is he in a cave? He's in a cave. Oh, well. Looks like we have more scorched out here as well. I'm going to go ahead and enter. Oh, and he's still alive. Whoa. I blue screened. Okay. You want me to just come back? Yeah, go ahead. Just wait outside. Yeah, it doesn't Stay look here. You with those things? Huh? Answer me. Those things, you mean the scorched? Is that what they're called? You a local? No offense. But your neighborhood is seriously messed up. They hit us out of nowhere. Screams, gunshots, the sound of Kip getting his head caved in. God, I don't know how long I've been here. Yes, I was just hoping it was all a nightmare, you know? Well, it's all over now. You're safe. Thanks. I, uh, yeah. I just needed to see a friendly face. I thought I'd be trapped here for the long haul. I don't have much for a pay. Who else? I don't have anything at all, but if there's anything you need, just let me know. Well, the Scorch carry a disease. I need to convince Paige it's dangerous. Those things are caused by infection? If that's the case, Paige needs to know as soon as possible. Any disease that can claim a human mind and turn us against ourselves is a major threat. How is it spread? And what's the incubation period? The symptom? Is there a treatment? Well, it's spread by direct contact, possibly droplets. Incubation is unknown, but there is an inoculation. Thank God for that. If there's an inoculation, we need to get that to Foundation yesterday. This disease of yours is no joke. All right. Well, you can go ahead and head home. Thanks again. I'll be damn sure to avoid those things on my way back. Please do, Aubrey. All right. You get back to Paige. What do we need to do? Now, we need to go and talk to Paige as well. But I do want to explore in here. This is a new. I've never been in this place before. It could possibly be a new location don't ever remember stumbling across it believe me I've got many many hours in this game all right well they don't seem to have much any aluminum cans I will take the tin cans they do have lead in them but I think that looks pretty good all right pay or page Aubrey I will see you I'll back at page back in alrighty well that was perfect timing so we need to head back up to where we just were let me go move my marker back up and just straight back up the hill I think I can head back this way hopefully Aubrey will get there in one piece without any further bother from the scorched 
it didn't give us an option to escort him back. So I'm going to assume he's going to be okay. If he dies, that's on the developer. Exactly. We had nothing to do with it. We tried to save him. Alright, we have been made it back, and that is such a cool feature. Looks like a lumber fort. You know what I mean? From like a Lego lumber fort? You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah kinda, definitely. It's very cool, though. Alright, we need to get back up there. Is there a way we can do it from here? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Maybe with a little help of marsupial we can. Yeah, I think definitely just keep following this up. They have built quite the system for themselves here. You can tell they have been very, very busy people. But for now, I'm going to head back down into Paige's office. Alrighty, I'm back in. Hey, I know you. I've heard some amazing stories about you. You're a legend around here. Uh, okay. Well, I've been gone for like two seconds, lady. That's out. Yeah. Well, okay. Whatever. <laughs> Paige. What Aubrey have to say about this disease you keep talking about? Well, Aubrey was the only survivor and backed me up. He should be here soon. Damn it. Looks like I'll be paying a few families a visit soon. All right. If Aubrey's behind you, so am I. I'll get the details from him when he gets back. If you need to resupply, you should give Sonny a visit. Hell, after that ordeal, if you see a free bed in the boarding house, rest up. For now, you just hold up your end of the deal and get us that inoculation. Okay, so we have completed here to stay. And what does that give me for my next quest? Aubrey walks slow. A little bit. Clean up this. Fix that. It never seems to end. Oh, see, maybe we need to go and visit the raiders now. Let's go ahead. Oh, not what I wanted to do. Let me Are check. Are we really going to inoculate raiders? Well, if we want to do what the overseer wants and get everyone inoculated, yes, we are going to go and inoculate raiders. Exactly. Very timely subject. Right, I'm trying to figure out why they want me to go to the purveyor to spin my legendary script. <laughs> That's something new happened with the purveyor. There's different the new location for. Oh, she's got. A, oh, she's got a new location. Oh, that's mm -hmm. cool. All right, well, we are back outside, so I suppose we need to figure out where our next location is. Let me remove my map marker here. What's that over there? Oh no, I was looking at something different apparently. Okay. Yeah, I'm looking for a gift for my friend's birthday. Got anything like that? Unfortunately, Sunny gets What is that? I think it's well it's the curator, okay. Oh. Uh, oh, so we need to go to Top of the World and speak with Rose. is our next quest. Alright, well, I'm going to go ahead and fast travel to the Pleasant Valley Station, I suppose. And I will meet you there. You can Good fast window. travel on me. I still have the window open down here. Good thing I left it open last night. Alright, well, we are here at the top of the world. And we need to go and speak with Rose. Now, the last time we talked with Rose, she had us do a whole bunch of crazy stuff, including making friends with the Deathclaw. I hate to see what she's going to be making us do this time. 
So I wonder if they've changed this area up any. So far it all looks the same. Yep. Still scorched here. Surprisingly, considering how every place else has gotten their um, levels dr bumped up. All right. Well, oh, you had oh, you had three uh, stim packs on you. Nice. What did you have? Three oh eight. I just had to come and look, didn't I? Okay, I'm good. <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> Let's go up and speak with Rose. I'm curious to see what she's got to say. Yeah, this area outside doesn't look like it's changed any. So I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Normally we get attacked by something in here. Apparently we are Bugs getting... usually. Yeah. Bugs or rad scorpions. And she is on the third floor. All right, Miss Rose, what have you got to say well, for yourself? Well, look who it is. <laughs> I was wondering when he'd show up. Not that I'm a stalker or anything. I totally saw you heading my way. So, <laughs> what's on your mind? You miss me? Not particularly. Well, I need you to get me in touch with the Raiders. Right to the point, huh? That group you're talking about is run by this gal named Meg. I saw him head in about the same time as those other folks at Spruce Knob. If you want to talk to Meg, you gotta get on her good side. And I am pretty sure I can swing it. Can you tell me more about Meg? Well, all right, let's hear your plan. I thought you'd never ask. First, a peace offering. David had a trophy as a symbol of his leadership. You get that into Meg's hands, it's like passing the torch, right? Next, I'm going to draw her ass out here with an extra special broadcast. Problem is, I need to access some old memory banks that David sealed off. He was an emotional guy. I get it. But I need you to find his original program. Which I'm pretty sure he stashed at Rosalind's memorial. What's this trophy you're talking about? Eh, just some old thing Rosalind made for David when they made him leader. You know, sappy romantic stuff. Ever since then, it's been like his own symbol of power. David? Emotional? Pretty mm. sure that's how this whole memorial thing came about. Well, tell me where the memorial is and the program's as good as found. Yeah, about that. David sort of didn't want anyone to know about the memorial. He thought the others would think he'd gone soft. And, well, he probably wasn't wrong. So, hope you like playing detective. to David's room, get the trophy, and then find something that'll tell you where that memorial is. I ain't saying you'll have to trash the place, but you may have to trash the place. Easy peasy, right? Are you going to join Meg and the others? After calling the raiders back, you don't want to lead them? Lead? <laughs> no way! Just thinking about that responsibility makes me twitch. I got the band back together to watch, not to manage the tour. 
I suppose you did, Rose. Well, let's get to work then. <sighs> Back to business, just how I like it. Ready to hop on that trophy and AI program? All right, one trophy and AI program coming up. <laughs> I knew I could count on you, and I swear this will work. The shackle won't let Meg come looking around. All right, well, that's quite interesting, actually. I like how they've tied in the raiders from before and the groups that we had to deal with that were, well, of course they were dead, but, you know, we still had to go around to the different groups for her quest line. And now it seems like they've kept part of that in. Very cool indeed. All right. So I suppose we should head to wherever David lived, and I, that was just over here. Okay, so we just need to walk out and pretty much go get it. I'm going to go ahead and head out. And then back down to the ground floor. Right behind you. Wow, that was pretty quick. And he is over in this direction. Oh, the buildings over there. Oh, I hated those buildings. It was such a pain. I'm going to try and avoid most of them. And we're just going to go straight for David's room. Well, at least it's scorched today and not super mutants. Super mutants or mole miners. Mole miners are a pain. Alright, so I'm just going to bypass all the walking around. Oh, there we go. That looks like David's trophy right there. Kind of like it, actually. So we need to find something else, though. That's not just it. Oh, here we go. So, search. The bed has been modified to be more appropriate for the leader of the cutthroats. Let's look under the mattress. A hefty, ho a hefty hoist of the mattress reveals a secret stash of caps. Nice. So, I don't need to search that anymore. Search David's desk. The desk is well worn and has several drawers that could hold a clue about where Rosalind's memory is located memorial is located. So closely examine the drawers. A close inspection of the desk reveals a hidden compartment with stem packs in one of the drawers and a photograph taped to the underside of the desk. Alright, so we need to read the back of it. And I suppose I need to actually open up my inventory for that. Is that under notes? Notes. Up here we go, right here. Yeah, I can read that as about as, how in the heck do you, are you supposed to read it? Oh, there we go. Good gravy. Remember our anniversary. I stole that huge stash of Kim's and you found that secluded spot across from Ripper Alley. We spent that entire night under the stairs. I've never seen you happier. Rest in peace, dear Rosalind, wherever you may be. Okay. Well, now we need to go retrieve the AI program. 
So let's see where that is going to lead us to. Not around here. Ah, there we go. Over by West Tech. So I'm going to go ahead and fast travel us to Ripper Alley. While I wait on the conveyor belt of the fast travel mode. <laughs> I think it's because we're standing so close together. There we go. You got David's trophy? Pretty cool, right? Once Meg sees that, she's gonna know you mean business. She may have been a diehard, but they all started under David. Every single one of them. Even the gourmands would have killed for that trophy. Us cutthroats had all the power and they knew it. Same for Roslyn's memorial on that AI program. Okay, Rose. Good to know, I suppose. See, Meg must have been a part of the gang. Uh oh, there was a death claw. Hold on, let me switch my guns. Uh, we can't avoid it. It's gone. Yeah, I lost its head. I think we're good on the rest of that. I don't need any gears. So, is this her memorial? Oh, yep, Rose's AI program. And some buff out. Okay, so we need to head to Solomon's Pond then. Alright, well, I suppose we should head to the next location, which is Solomon's Pond. Let me find that on the map. Not too far away. Oh, well, heck, it's like right by my camp. So I'm going to fast travel to my camp and we can just walk up to it. Okie dokie. All right, I need to repair the AI program. That's what it says. So why here? Oh, what the heck? What the heck are those? Oh, good gravy, what are those? Oh, these are the floaters. Oh, heck. Yeah, that's my first time seeing those. Yeah, you can just die. Please. Stay away from them and explode. Oh, why am I glowing green? Holy bobs. Oh, die. Dude, seriously, die. Oh. Good gravy. I've been gooed. <laughs> what the slimed. heck? We've been slimed. Oh, I'm not quite sure what that just gave me, but. Ew. You know what? The sacks are valuable. A floater Nasher Puss Sacks. So do you craft with those? I don't know. I just heard they're valuable. Okay. Well, if they don't expire, then I'll hold on to them. That was extremely strange, though. So, oh, can we actually go inside this location now? Because this one's always been closed off before. Um, yes, we can. So this is a totally new location. Well, not totally new. It's a, a location that's been in the game. But they've opened up the building. That's cool. Uh, enter password. Hmm. 
No, load holotape. Oh, that could take a long time. Stuck. Is it? Ah, uh, nope. Oh, here we go. Rose's AI program. Have failed. Error unreadable. Play holotape. No. Enter password. No. Oh, I've got to find the password. Okay. So... Outside. I need to go look outside. See anything out here? Uh, we got a ghoul. Agent Kensington. It, yeah, he's got a name. Why did he have a name? He has a password, perhaps. No. He doesn't. Nope. Take the terminal password. It was in the toilet. <laughs> it was in the toilet. It was, yes, it was in the toilet. Well, on the seat. <laughs> Devious Bethesda. Alright, repair holotape. So we enter password. Holotape repair. And confirm. Copy complete. So now we just need to go and talk to Rose. I wonder what is on this hall tape. Probably can't read it or anything since it's like for AI programming. So is Rose going to implement this stuff on herself? Or do we not know? Well, probably I don't. Have you done this part yet? No. Okay. It's all new to me. Alright, well, let's go ahead. Oh, more copper. And head back over to the top of the world. I think we're pretty close, but we're going to go ahead and fast travel there anyways. Nope. Nope, nope. Not what I wanted to do. I wanted to fast travel. So I will meet you there, hon. Okay. All right, Miss Rose, I did the thing for you. All right, you're back. And just when I was starting to get bored, too. Hope you managed to repair that old holotape. Well, what do you think's on it? First off, it's a whole lot of crap on David and Rosie. I'm thinking it's like action adventure meets romance. Comedy, but not a good romantic comedy, you know? The kind that makes you want to puke. <laughs> Second, it's the code I need to unlock some sealed off memory banks that David didn't want me to access, but couldn't bring himself to delete. Can you tell me more about David and Rosalind? Why would David block access to some of your memory banks? Who knows? Like I said, that guy was sensitive. Not everyone needs a constant reminder of their baggage. <laughs> Alright, here's the AI program, Rose. As usual, so reliable. I love it. I gotta admit, I got some pretty mixed feelings when tapping into all these blocked files. On one hand, I'm sure David had his reasons for cutting me off. On the other, I'm pretty sure this would be a whole new world of entertainment for me. Oh, wow, that's a conundrum. Just scan for the words you need, or should she, we have her take it all in? I don't know, Eric, what would you do? 
uh, ask you? <laughs> oh, my good gravy. Um, you know what, Rose? I like you. I think you should take it all in. You deserve to know what he blocked. She explodes, it's your fault. <laughs> I can't see the dialogue options. Can't hear her talk either. This is normal, I guess. Well, he must have loved her very much. He made you, after all. I like to think of myself as an upgrade, and I am pretty much irresistible. David only let me access the bum parts of Rosalind, but yeah, I can totally see why now. I mean, let's be honest, being all sappy and serious is a total down on love. Okay. David was the leader and never used the word negotiate. Yep, no negotiate, no compromise. It was his way or the highway. It's part of what made him such a badass leader. Well, what is this plan of yours? Just using my amazing skills to put together a little broadcast for Meg with David's voice. If she thinks there's even a chance that David's still alive, I guarantee she'll come running. Not because she <laughs> but if David pulled through and she bailed, she knows he'll be out for her. Well, I'm on it. One holotape coming up. My hero. Now get out there and don't get yourself killed. So help me God, Rose, if you Did make me I go hug a Beth Deathclaw <laughs> again. It makes me feel like a mom. <laughs> Alright, well... Guys, I think that's going to be an it for the day. In the next episode, we will go and find this other holotape at Arctos Pharma. A place I'm not really looking forward to going to, but I suppose we don't have a choice. Thank you once again, Eric, for joining me today. Really appreciate it, hon. You're and so welcome. I hope you all have enjoyed... So thank you all so very much for joining us. And I've been Valker. And I'll see you in the next one. Oh, good gravy, it turned to green. Bye, guys.